In this video tutorial, we are going to be using Python's turtle module to draw ourselves a square. In fact, we're going to draw three different squares. Just to show you some different variations of shapes that can be drawn using turtle. To get started, we're going to put in the same line of code as we did in our previous video from turtle import star. So from our turtle module, or that library of code written by somebody else called turtle, we're going to import everything from it. And that way we can access all the functions um, and use those to write our code. The first function we're going to call up from the turtle um, library is speed. And we're going to set it to 1. That's how quickly uh, the Python turtle will draw our squares for us. Now the first square we are going to draw is simply an outlined square. So if I just write a hashtag here, I'm going to put in a comment that says outlined square okay and to begin with we're going to lift our pen up oops we shouldn't have capitals lift our pen up off the page okay and once we've got our pen up in the air we can then move to our coordinates that we want to start drawing at so we'll put in the go to function and put minus 350 for the x coordinate and 100 for the y coordinate um, we'll then put our pen down on the page so pen down bracket bracket we'll change our pen size so this is the um, stroke color or the border color of our shape we'll set it to five we'll pick a color for our um, square which is going to be we'll say magenta again and we are good to go so to draw a line we move forward with the turtle 150 pixels Okay, I just want to show you what that does when I run it. So I'll just save this quickly as square. And we'll run this code. And this should draw a line on the screen that's 150 pixels in size. What we want to do now is come up and draw the next side of the square. So what we do is we write in left 90. And that says turn the little Python um, turtle thingy 90 degrees to the left. Once we've turned it around, we're going to move forward 150 pixels again. Let's save it and run it again. So here's the first one going 150 across. We turn 90 degrees left and go 150 again. Okay. You should get a bit of an idea on what's happening here. So I'm going to copy and paste this code. Be four times in total, so we get four sides to our square. There it is there. That is the code to draw a square. Let's have a look and see what we get. Beautiful. So we've got a square with a magenta stroke on it. Now the issue that I've got with that is we have repeated this code a number of times, which could become a little bit tedious with um, writing out that many times. So we know that we can use loops in Python to repeat code over and over again. So instead of repeating this four times, let's just write it once and we'll put it inside a for loop. So I'm going to say for i in range 4. Put a colon on the next line. We'll indent forward 150 and left 90. That basically says we're going to repeat those two lines of code four times. And we'll just run that code again and you'll see that we get the same shape. There you go. So that's our first square drawn. That's how you draw a simple square with no fill color. What we're going to do now is we're going to draw a, another square that has a multicolored border. Okay, so let's put in a hashtag here for a comment. We'll say multicolored square. And we'll put stroke only. Remember the stroke is the border. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to lift our pen up off the page, first of all, and set our new coordinates. So we're going to go to minus 175, comma, 100. So just moving to the right of our previous square. We'll put our pen back down on the page. And we're going to do a for loop for i in. And we're going to create a list of colors that we would like um, around our square. So I'm going to put in yellow red, blue, purple. And you'll notice that as I've done these, 
I've done them inside the square brackets. Okay, remember, we use those to make a list and we put a colon at the end of our for loop there. Now we simply write color i. Okay, so each time we run this loop, this i here, this variable, we'll just loop through the four colors. So it'll start on yellow, then it'll go to red, then blue, and then purple. Okay, after that we just need to tell it how big we want the square. So we'll go 150 pixels forward and we'll turn left 90 degrees, whoops, like we had done previously. All right, so that is all we need to do to do the next square. You'll notice that we don't tell it to run four times. And the reason being is we've got four colors. So it's just going to keep running through this list here until all four colors have been printed on the screen. And then it will just jump out of that loop. So let's print it and, oh, sorry, save it and run it and we'll see what happens. So we should get the first black, oh, sorry, magenta square drawn. Then we're going to jump across to the right. Here comes the next one. You'll see that that second square has been drawn with the yellow line first. There's our first color. Then it went red up the side, blue across the top, and purple down the end. So it went in this order right here. Okay, so that's our second square done. The last one we're going to draw is one that's filled in with a fill color and a stroke. So we'll just write Square with fill and stroke. All right. So let's start coding this guy up. So we'll put our pen up first of all and set our new coordinates. So we're going to go to the zero for the X and a hundred for the Y. We will set a couple of colors here. The color will be orange. That's the stroke color. And then the fill color is going to be yellow. Okay, then we're going to put our pen down on the paper and we are good to start drawing. So remember this time we want to fill in our circle. So we need to call the function begin fill. That allows us to color in our circle. And we'll just create a loop that says for i in range and we'll put four again. Do the usual uh, measurements. So four to 150 pixels and left 90 degrees, jump out of that loop and end the fill. And we are done. All right, so let's test it and we'll see if we get a orange stroke and a yellow fill color on this circle. I might just bump that down like I have done with the others. So we get our first magenta only square, then we get our multicolored square second. And then jump over to the third one. We've got our orange stroke, and then we should color it in yellow. Done. So that's looking good. They are the three different squares that we need to draw into Python. Now, one thing I'm going to change here is back up the top, the speed. I'm going to set it to zero. What that's going to do now when I run the code, it draws the squares super quick. I also want to hide that little arrow thing there. That's the turtle. We want to get rid of that. So at the end of your code here, just write hide. Oops. Hide turtle bracket bracket. Okay, now when you run it, you can't see any turtle there. It's disappeared. And the last thing I might put in is just exit on click. That allows us to click the screen when we're finished and it will close it off for us. All right. One other thing you might like to put in uh, was a background color. I didn't do that yet. So maybe up the top here, it's BG color. Just set it to say black. Let's see how that looks. Looks a bit better. Okay, so there you go. That is how you draw a square in Python using the total module.